thanks so much for having me and good evening uh, to all of you coders. Uh, I'm really grateful to have the opportunity to congratulate each and every one of you. Uh, even in the middle of a pandemic, your brilliant and creative spirits have shined through and you've produced some truly exceptional apps for this year's Congressional App Challenge. And I, I would be remiss if I didn't have a special shout out to Great Valley High School's very own Shreena Kitt, uh, who for his community app, We the Speakers, which helps students with public speaking and general communication skills. And I feel like that I'm in a virtual room with my own fellow nerds uh, and geeks tonight, which is always a really good thing. Uh, as Joe mentioned, my name is Chrissy Houlihan. I represent Pennsylvania's sixth district in Congress, which is just outside of Philadelphia. And prior to serving in Congress, I was like many of you, really passionate about STEM. When I was a little girl, in fact, I wanted to be Sally Ride. Uh, she was the first American woman in space. She inspired me to go pursue engineering at Stanford because that's where she went. And while I haven't made it to outer space quite yet, I did end up serving in the Air Force as an engineer and focusing on anti-ballistic missile defense. After my military service, I was able to join the business world and help to build companies in my community in Pennsylvania, uh, applying a lot of technologies uh, and, uh, as, uh, to, that app, to that purpose. And from there, I went on to teach chemistry in North Philadelphia and on to improving early childhood literacy. And now I'm able to be here representing the people of my community in Congress. And it is so, so important for people, especially young people like yourselves, to understand how many doors a STEM education can open for you. So many of my friends in Congress are really genuinely shocked when they hear that I'm an engineer. And so it's up to you, the people in this room, to try to normalize the presence of people with STEM backgrounds in all kinds of careers. Some of you may go on to work in labs and research Others will create the next viral app. Some of you may teach and still others may become entrepreneurs and serial entrepreneurs. And maybe there's even a future Congresswoman or president, president here in the audience. My point is that studying STEM doesn't just teach you science, but it also provides you an array of problem solving tools that will serve you in whatever career path you decide to choose. There isn't a day of lawmaking that goes by for me that I don't rely on my engineering background and training in some capacity. And that's why I'm so passionate about the Congressional App Challenge, because it helps to connect us as members of Congress to you all, the next generation of leaders. We're connected because of our shared interest in science and technology, because of our joint passion for asking how things work in the world, because of our penchant for solving problems to help those in our community and beyond. So I wanna take a moment as well to acknowledge all the girls who entered the STEM competition as well because right now there's still a huge imbalance in the STEM population. While women account for 52% of the college educated workforce, we only account for 29% of the science and engineering workforce. And it's even worse when you look at engineering in particular, it's about 16% of the workforce. So those numbers are even lower when you look at women of color. So it's important that we continue to diversify our STEM community. Not only is it the right thing to do, but it's also the smart thing to do because different perspectives will drive different creativity and ingenuity. And we certainly need that as a nation and as a planet. So I started my speech with Sally Ride, a woman who sparked my own personal passion for the sciences, but you can't be what you can't see. So it's more than ever important that our STEM community reflects the diversity of our, of our country and we will be made, made better for it. So to each of you, I extend my heartfelt congratulations and admiration to say that this past year, as Joe said, has been difficult would be certainly an understatement. Yet you stand here today, having preserved, persevered and followed your passion. The work we do here in Congress is about you, the next generation of inspiring leaders. Thank you to my fellow nerds and geeks. Uh, stay safe and be well to one and be kind to one another.